16, 17, 18, I think have three of the coolest looking tee shots. Nice. Oh my goodies. Hole 13 guys, the lone par three on this incredible back nine. You've got the ocean, you got boats coming in, the waves are crashing, you can hear the noise. And this hole is literally cut from what looks like boulders. Yes. That's a nice boulder. That's a nice boulder. Uh, just a wedge in hand, it's about 155 yards or so. The wind's not terrible and it looks like it's actually coming a little off. Oh, there was a butterfly on your ball. Oh, good luck. Um, but when the wind is ripping up here, this is one of the hardest shots in golf, I feel like. Welcome back to part three, guys. Thank you so much for all the love on the first two parts here. That helps the channel out a lot. So if you guys are enjoying this series, just make sure you like this video as well. We are moving on to hole 13 here. Like I said, it's just a little wedge shot and you can see it is right on the side of this cliff. And that kind of leads me to something that Jack Nicholas said about the course. He said that this is one of the great pieces of property in the world. He also commented saying, I've never seen any place that has three holes hanging out over the ocean like this golf course does. This is a diverse golf course with inland settings. It's got desert, it's got ocean, it's got rocks. It has a little bit of everything. We decided to shoot from a different angle this time. So this is the par three on the Bawadas, but I'm just right next to the pin. See where this goes. Let me know what you guys think about this angle here. Hopefully in the future I can get maybe two camera people out with me and we could have one behind and one here to where I can kind of split cut and show you guys exactly where the ball ended up. But we try to get a little freaky here on this hole to show you kind of the shot coming in. Yakety yak. Oh god, I don't know. Oh, I see the ball. I see the ball. I see the ball. I see the ball. Oh money. Money roll. Good job! So Kelsey didn't want me to film her shot here, but she did actually hit a shot into this green and she blasted it into the hillside behind the green and it rolled down like Plinko style for about 20 seconds to one foot. It was actually really impressive. Nice. Oh my goodies. It really did look like it was going in. That was a good little read you had there though. Huh? That was a good little read you had there. Sorry, I'm not a better caddy. So right off the bat, I was a little aggressive with that putt. Really wanted to make a birdie on this hole. And now I've got this little knee knocker comebacker for par. Hey! Oh my gosh, right now! You like uh, my sound effects? The one there. You like my sound effects? Yeah, very good. You think very the people good. like them? Very good announcer. But guys, seriously, let's look at this view. Come on now. Does it get any better than this? Does it get any better than this? I'm sorry if you're watching this in the north and it's like 20 degrees below zero and you can't get out and play golf. I'm sorry, but come to Cabo. Some of the best golf I've ever had. All right, we are at hole 14. It's a par four, 355. I have no idea where Brody's hitting. I would, I would hit over towards that area. That's what normal people would do. But he's hitting over towards these bushes right over so here. So those, the, where those dark green bushes are over there, over that hill, if you can carry the hill, which is like 270 or so, uh, you just hope you get lucky and get somewhere near the green. So If you guys were in my shoes and you were playing this hole, how would you play it? Would you play it safe and head out to the left or would you be aggressive and go for the green? straight over the hill. This little flyover might actually help you with your decision here. As you can see, you have this left fairway, which really, you really only need to hit 200 yards or so to get to the just the top tier of that to have a shot into the green. But if you get over that hill on the right-hand side, you don't really know where your ball is gonna end up, but it could potentially kind of be in this little bowl that sand trap's actually not that bad of a spot to be in to get up and down for birdie. So my play here, blast it over the hill, 
get lucky, try to make birdie. I want to let you guys know that it is going to be getting a lot windier. The audio is going to be an issue, so I apologize for that. We are working on that for future course vlogs. But here you go. You can see the bushes I was talking about in the background. That is my target line. Oh, be good. Get up. Cover it. I think you did. I didn't see Sam pop up. This is a Jack Nicklaus special, man. You hit a shot and you just don't know until you get up on the hill to see where it ends up. The video camera we use to record these course vlogs, it has its microphone in a really weird spot to where if you put your finger on it, uh, you can't hear anything. So I'm gonna kinda show you what's going on. Right now I found two balls that were not mine. Uh, those are gonna be Kelsey's golf balls. But I did actually find my golf ball, which was in this, I don't know, bush, brush, something. Basically my target, it ended up rolling all the way into this. And so now I have a pretty sticky lie here. And you can kind of even see the slope on this green. It drastically drops down. So I'm kind of showing you my target line, landing it on top of the hill, try to have it roll down and close to the pin. Oh. Slow down. Oh. Okay. A little unlucky with the lie. I just needed to try to get my club on the ball and I didn't really know how I was going to react. So that one kind of jumped out a little bit. There was no spin on it. So it didn't catch at all like I thought it was going to and kind of rolled out. But I gave myself a birdie putt. That's all I really could do from that situation. And unfortunately did not make this one either, um, which is kind of sad on this hole. But uh, there's a par. That's one I wish I could have back. Dang it. Any words of encouragement, man? Uh, go Gators. Go Gators. Hole 15 here, guys. The final par 5. As you can see, the tee shot is straight uphill. This hole plays 564 yards. And if you can get your tee shot to land on this top tier here, you will have a downhill second shot approach into this green that really just kind of funnels everything right to left. The green is protected by some bunkers on the backhand side and that sneaky little bunker on the left. If you can get something out to the right hand side, you'll have a good chance at either eagle or a birdie on this hole, which is for me a must make. So big tee shot here, just gotta get something in play. Been very happy with how I've been driving the ball today, putting myself in a lot of positions to try to get close on a second approach. So with 564 uphill, this was a big one. Needed to hit a boomer out there to give myself a chance to get there in two. So blast off folks, blast off. Wow. He likes that one, folks. That one smoked. That one was <laughs> smoked cheddar gouda. <laughs> smoked cheddar gouda. <laughs> if you have never tried smoked cheddar gouda, pause this video right now. Go to your nearest cheese connoisseur and pick you up some. Now, if you want to throw that on some toast and make some delicious grilled cheese, go ahead. If you want to make your own little pizza out of it, go ahead. If you want to throw it on your favorite turkey sandwich, that's fine too. Definitely try it. It is delicious. Okay, here we go. 257 to the green. Your boy's got a four iron. Going to give this all he's got to try to get there into ladies and gents. I was so focused on your shot that I cut off half your head in that one. <laughs> Sorry. You can really see that the wind is kind of whipping here, pushing the flag stick that direction. So it was a little bit helping. And this is kind of exactly where I wanted to place it. I have a 33 foot putt here for Eagle. And unfortunately, my pace and speed, I feel like was pretty solid most of the day. I just really had a hard time reading the greens and Cutting aggressive, I guess. When you can't really read the greens, it's it's very tentative over the ball, and, and that's what you saw here. There. 
There it is. Good job, Daddy O. Side gig is magic tricks. You think I'm tall enough to fix it? All right, there we go. Well, I mean, you could definitely lean it to its side and put oh. the flag back on. It didn't have to be straight up. All right, uh, I don't. We didn't even really do a part two. That was a while ago. Oh well. Okay. So, uh, we're, I guess it was part three. Uh, anyways, we are moving on to hole 16. 16, 17, 18, I think have three of the coolest looking tee shots. Um, so, yeah, I don't know how else to set it up. Kelsey hasn't seen it because we only got to play the first like 10 holes last time. So Kelsey's never seen it. I think she will like what she sees. All right, Jack outdid himself when he made this hole, hole 16. Uh, I, just come, um, ch check it out. I have nothing else to say. Just come check it out. <laughs> How sick is that? That is so cool. Isn't that sick? Okay, this is probably one of the coolest holes. Besides the ones on the side of the mountain. The mountain I know. But uh, you've got that rocks, rock. You've got, got that. Welcome to the rock. To the rock. <laughs> Kelsey watched like five minutes of that movie. Or, I no, watched, you watched the, the trailer. trailer. <laughs> you watched the trailer and you didn't want to watch it. Please let Kelsey know in the comments down below how good The Rock is, guys, okay? Sean Connery. I feel like freaking, your audience uh, won't know what that too? movie is. No, people know The Rock. The Rock's hot. Yeah, we know The Rock like Dwayne Johnson. No, the movie The Rock about Alcatraz. Anyways, that rock sculpture sculpture down there, that's where you want to aim. Anything there is perfect. Off the mountain tee shot on hole 16. I don't know how high we were, but we were very, very high hitting down into this fairway that's actually pretty thin, but if you go left or right, it all funnels to the middle, so you should be fine. You've got that rock, which is right there that they did not uh, CGI in, I guess. And then the green is actually not really that difficult. There's not really anything uh, keeping you from going right at the pin, so here we go. Some people commented that they wanted the shot tracer back, so I did put it in this video, but because we weren't on a tripod, and you will see here, the shot tracer is not super accurate with where it lands because when Kelsey moves the camera, it also moves the shot tracer. Holy oh freaking walk -up. holy oh pants. I don't even know where that went. Yeah. I see it. It's right in front of the rock sculpture. I see it. Wait. I think it's to the left of the sand bunker. Is that not it? No, no, no. It's the, it rolled right in front of the sand rock sculpture. The rock. That had a hang time of like 12 seconds. <laughs> that was awesome. You know how whenever you tell people you play golf, one of the first questions they ask you is, oh, how far is your longest drive? Well, come to this course, play hole 16, and tell them that you hit it 371. And you don't have to mention the fact that you hit it off the top of a mountain. You can just leave that Good out. Good, yep. Thank you, elevation. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't hit the rock. <laughs> I'm now curious, actually, how many people have probably blasted or thinned their ball into the rock. That would be very frustrating. But we have 124 yards here, going with a 54 degree right at it. That was my worst swing of the day. We're not going to talk about that. That was my worst swing of the day. I almost lost the club. Okay, it wasn't as bad as we thought. With a wedge in my hand, I'm always trying to hit that ball close to the pin to give myself the best chance for birdie. I got a little lucky here. As you can see, the green does slope left to right. And so I think it kind of hit up there and rolled down to this spot. Left me with, I just got an email, left me with a 20 footer here for birdie. Dang. What did I say? 27 feet? Yeah. 27 feet to 2 feet? Oh, foot and a half. Nice. I really can't get anything going unless it's a part 5 and I can 2 by Big Birdie. 
Hole 17 is another extremely long par 4 sitting at 478 yards. Downhill though on the first tee shot, kind of difficult to carry to that second fairway. So if you want to kind of lay up just short of that to give yourself a good medium iron approach into the green, I'm just going to blast the driver as hard as I can because that's what I've been doing today and it's been working and we will see what ends up happening here. Another really pretty hole. Short and sweet and to the point there. Wind at my back. I think in my head I can carry it. So um, that's what I'm going for. I'm actually aiming for the clubhouse out there and I'm just gonna try to literally hit this as hard as I can, I think. Wow. Great freaking job. Been good as it gets there, Janice. Stop calling me Janice. <laughs> Okay, guys, so yesterday, uh, yesterday, coming, yesterday, coming off hole 17, I found this little contraption and I was like, Kelsey, you have to remind me to bring a frisbee when we go film this course vlog because I think I can do a dirty wall ride shot. So the goal is to get it to go here, loop it all the way around, and then catch it right where I threw it. We'll see how many tries it takes. Oh, oh no. Oh no. It's gettable. The wind kind of. Wow. Too windy, guys. <laughs> I tried. Too windy. It's impossible. Okay, guys. 2,000 likes, and me and Kelsey will go back out to Cabo. We'll find this spot right off of hole 17, and we will complete the trick shot in the morning when it's not windy. Honestly, it's cleaning my shoes really good. Was able to get the trick shot, but my shoes are clean. Okay, back to golf now. My favorite shot is left here. Obviously, I did not cover to the second fairway. I think it's literally impossible because I actually hit that drive really, really good. I have 124 yards here in the sand, and my goal is to not come up short. Wow. Every time you hit it like that, I feel like that's a really good shot. Oh. So it almost was a really good shot. I'll take it. I, hit, I just hit that drive too good, I guess. Jeez. So I completed my goal. I did not come up short. I actually came up long here on the fringe. I have a seven yard putt or also 21 feet. This would be a buttery biscuit if I ever saw one. Oh. oh. Wow. I took the flex and I could have left it in. Pay support. All right, moving on. Last hole. Wait, was that a par? Yeah. Uh, <coughs> that was my birdie putt, but. Sorry. Do you think it was a par five? Yeah. No, it was par four. Oh. All right, hole 17 in the books. Moving on to hole 18. We are wrapping up this course vlog, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure if you haven't already, like the video or the previous two videos. Heck, if you didn't like part one or part two, go back and like those two. Shout out to my wifey, my film, my videographer, my film person. You're just like, oh. but she did a great job today. Last hole, time to crush it. Pueblo Bonito Cabo, best place to be. Let's take a quick break from the wind here and go into hole 18, guys. Why not, right? Because that wind is uh, brutal to listen to. Par four, 486 yards, heading straight back into the ocean. Fairly narrow fairway landing area right there. And you got this green that's a little bit downhill and left is dead. One thing I told myself is do not miss left. So I'm gonna try to bomb a drive out there and hit the right side of the green to give myself a chance at birdie. Last hole. Any advice, babe? Rip it and grip it. You okay. What I've been doing anyways, I've been going driver almost every hole here. Wow. 
so straight. <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> that was so bad. You, it's called the hype, and you have to go on the same. I have no idea. After one of my best drives of the day here, I'm right in the middle of the fairway. I have 154 yards. I believe that we're into the wind here. So I think I'm flighting down a nine iron, trying to keep it out of the wind and keep the spin on the ball low that it carries all the way to the green. I'm gonna give you the play-by-play -play here because the audio is absolutely death. I did go with the nine iron. Uh, Kelsey wanted to know if it was too far, but I said, I think it's all right. The wind actually picked up really, really strong right as I got over the ball. Also, I am filling my divots. A lot of people tell me to fill the divots in the comments. I normally don't fill myself doing that because I don't think you guys want me to see that like 20 times in a round, but uh, there you go. More play-by-play -play because as you can see here in a few seconds, that flag is whipping and I want to give you guys a little bit of a break, especially you uh, AirPod millennials out there watching. I'm sure your ears are bleeding. 25-foot putt for birdie and would you know it, I missed it. Got a little three-footer here to finish the round off, and Kelsey, I think, is just telling me that I need to start practicing my putting because I made absolutely nothing today. Three-footer here. Um, I'm looking at, you know, finishing off a decent round in the windy conditions, and Kelsey, just really being the caddy and videographer of the year, takes the pin out for me to open up the cup. I approach the putt, look at the line, get set, and get ready to strike the ball. Boom! It is in the hole. There's some chatter here between me and Kelsey. Honestly, I could not tell what the heck we were saying. It was extremely too windy. Great round, and here we go. Uh, it's super windy, so I'm going to try to block the wind. But yeah, that's the end of the video. Here, let's go this way. We'll shoot this way. That's the end of the video guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. We had an absolute blast. We'll have to come back out to Cabo at some point because apparently there's a lot of other really amazing golf courses out here. But this one, uh, me and Kelsey were just talking about. It's one of our favorites that we've ever played or even drove. Just coming out here and driving in the golf cart is a fun experience. So thank you so much for having us out here. We had a blast and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.